went to keep my mind uh, north side bumping up north, north with a deck. When I was a baby, I was running for respect. You gon' get your with the set. Look around here and talk crazy, you get up. We ran so many out of here. Wonder why young Licky never had a fear. Say it once, say it twice, you gon' get peace. Anybody ever ever. Everybody, I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Ryan's Falcons going up against Wilson's Seahawks. But I still, but I still know Got a hundred different, different to my cell phone Still 33, four, four, no Ride to my dog, sitting in jail oh. Stay flat on, on the grass, spin it back, roll I'm on Keller, I'm on Fashion, I'm on Flash oh. I'm at Magic, I'm at Polish, let them, let them go Then it's right back to the, to the, when I'm, when I'm Never close and we wide open. Kick and flavor with me, never. Yeah, we look hot. Wrap the bottom, cause the bottom where we come from. Me no pray for little paper, need a love song. Real spill, yeah. I would rather be a bro. Real spill, little rich, rich, rich. Fall in love with her. She just wanna be a VIP with her, with her. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's Wilson's Seahawks going up against Ryan's Falcons. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We thought the old place was loud. Somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. him down for a loss of five. Now Wilson on second down. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Carson. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. Call it a one yard gain on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Still in search of the first down after that last completion. Third and long, it's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right, and he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively, but instead it just brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, as seen on TV, here's their resident strongman, John Ryan, on to punt. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. 
And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. one up to about the 35. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage looked defensively. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Off the corner. Where'd he come from? Well, I, guess, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. <laughs> That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in the run game. No gain. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing him further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. some space here. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, 35 yards. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. On the return, the All-Pro two years ago, Tyler Lockett. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. Charles, earlier we talked a lot about Russell Wilson. What a great job he did last year in 2017 as Seattle's offense is working their way back onto the field. But they're probably going to need to find a running game to alleviate some of that pressure on Wilson, right? Yeah, you think? I mean, my goodness, when you take a look at what Russell Wilson did, he more than doubled the rushing yardage of Mike Davis, who finished second. And Mike Davis didn't begin the year on Seattle's roster. They went through a number of runners this season, none of them that fit and really hit. Chris Carson, they thought, was going to be the guy who got hurt early in the year, but they definitely have to find a running game and get back to playing that Seattle football of run first and let Russell Wilson take over from there. On second down, Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now the offense lining up first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. It's complete to lock it. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, 
you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And look out, I think he's going to go. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script, I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Second down, here's Wilson. And his throw here's incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And now it's third down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. State alum Chris Carson and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36 officially a gain of just a yard there but they do convert on third and inches clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten out of the gun here's Wilson and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39 He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or... Looking for Baldwin intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. A little educational piece. I know a lot of people here, 3-4, four, 4-3, four, et cetera. Take us through the 4-3, Charles. Okay, 4-3. Four, four down defensive linemen, usually two defensive tackles, two defensive ends. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Falcons. 
Devontae Freeman with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Wilson looking to throw on second down. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Seahawk first down. Wilson to his big target, Graham. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They run it with Carson. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Looking to throw on second down. Wilson It's caught outright by Graham. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And he's got his tight end. This is Luke Wilson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. This is Carson. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Wilson now to throw on second down. The connection made. It's Graham. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Here's Carson. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Old school defensive tackle play dictated just stood. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Luke Wilson, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are able to close the gap just a bit. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And he 
he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Second down, they need less than a yard to pick up the first. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. I've got zero rooting interest in this game, but this is a lot of fun to watch. When you watch a guy get with his offensive line and have that great relationship, and I think it has to have been built during the week, during training camp, throughout the season, sitting and watching tape together, finding where the creases are, the gaps, knowing how guys are going to block, and right now, He's almost unstoppable. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead, as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So it'll be first down here after the run. Takes it all the way to the two. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here we go. They motion the running back out left. Into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. They did. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Yeah, still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Play clock down to five, and they're going to burn a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. some breathing room he finds an opening past the 40 that one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks i've yet to meet a wide receiver who likes to block more than catching the football but the best ones understand that that's how they'll actually get more passes thrown to them if they help in the run game and anytime you get a run of that yardage that means the wide receivers did help they get down to what a lot of people call the second level the linebackers or the third level where the defensive backs are and they get out in front and put their bodies out there and create more space for their runners to gain the yardage. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. down at about the 43 that time. 
It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave them with still about eight or nine to go on third down. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. And some room to work. And finally out of bounds down near the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like them. And how about the confidence that's been exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fella to carry the football and carry it often. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. In my humble estimation, terrific work there defensively. Running backs trying to get wide, get to the sideline, and they beat him to the spot. Forced him out of bounds. Pretty close to the line of scrimmage. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. He lost two and it brings up four. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down, and the Seahawks are going to take over the football in not great starting field position here for the offense. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Buying time to his left. He's going to keep it again. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it's a second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Whether well, it's what we call an even front or an odd front. And an odd front's real easy to figure out. If that guy is lined up over... The and got his man complete! And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Wilson steps away to his left, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. And the Seahawks on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. From the shotgun, Wilson. Open man, it's Benan. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Tack McKinley in there to sack him for a loss of six. Now Wilson looking to throw on second down. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now 
our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So the pigskin will move from the two down to the one. And I have not met an offensive line yet that doesn't think they can get it in from the one-yard line on a running play. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. They come out here in the eye. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Now it's Carson. And he didn't get there. Knocked backwards to the two-yard line. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Falcons able to muster together a goal line stand. Here we go. Halfback sent in motion. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. few times here today this run's not going to go anywhere no gain there on first and five and it leaves him with a more standard second down and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line and they'll lose a yard that time and that's going to lead to a third down The Falcons on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Here we go. Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> and some room to roam now. And they're going to get this one up past the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just... Different. That's why the money in the bag different. Come up short, you'll have your 
fam. I lay on beaches and swerving whips. You ain't serving, you just an urban myth. Every day, get day, get ride around Queens on the jet ski. It's me. Every day, get day, get day. To the day I die, every day, get Man, I'm sad. And I'm sad. Bouncing up and down. Daily broke. Daily broke. My Just let me breathe for a minute. Let me breathe for a minute, I Just let me breathe for a minute White Range Rover broke a broke a broke a minute Let me breathe for a minute Just let me breathe for a minute, man Just let me breathe for a minute White Range Rover broke a broke a broke a minute Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. We've got a good one on tap today. There's going to be two quarterbacks ready to get it done on the gridiron. It's Ryan's Falcons going up against Dak Prescott's Cowboys. All right, Larry, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. The veteran Matt Bryant set to rock and roll. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott and a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20 two yards on the carry there it'll be second down 2017 for Zeke Elliott a mixed bag would he play would he not play well he missed the six games from weeks 10 to 15 he still finished though Charles 10th in the league in Russia just tells you about the talent that he has and how explosive he is and what he brings to the table look he averaged 98 yards per game 98.3 to be exact a full 11 yards higher the number two Todd Gurley behind him. So I just tell you, if he plays a full season and he's averaging that type of yardage, I think Dallas's win numbers go up. The first down carry by Elliott. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day on second down Elliot and unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37 two yards the game there and now they're left with a third and about four for a first They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Now Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped, and the Falcons grab it. It's a room to maneuver. 20, 10, 5, and he won.
for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well usually. <laughs> It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7-0 lead. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is taken about seven yards deep. So the Cowboys offense coming back out there and after the excitement of that 13-3 and year, the NFC East title 2016, they fell back to earth in 2017. They still finished 9-7, and but not what you expected from them. No, the scoring differential was a big telltale about the difference between 2016-2017. They were plus 115 a season ago, just plus 22 this year. That means tighter games mm. can go either way and not enough of a win in Dallas's win column in this past season. This is Elliott, and he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. One thing that's really difficult for an offense is often identifying how to block a 3-4 defense. Well, when they're coming on a blitz, even more difficult. They're elusive targets and hard to hit. And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, and it'll bring up third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. He's going to let this go deep. Back. He's got a man complete. And they finally take him down, but not before he reaches the 43. And the young buck showing that ability, that agility to dance outside of the pocket, complete the deep ball. And don't think for a second that the coaching staff didn't have their heart rate accelerate a little bit there, right? Anytime you have those young quarterbacks and they get outside of the pocket, you're just hoping that they make good decisions because so many things can happen that can go wrong when you throw it downfield like that. He got away with it there and in a big way. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Prescott to throw it. Get him for one will be a long. 